After all, your blood glucose levels are the most important metric that can help you keep your diabetes in check and avoid health complications. But some days, no matter what you do, your blood glucose can spike, and you must bring it down quickly. The ideal glucose level should sit in a range of 90 to 160, but if it spikes over the line and up to 240 this becomes dangerous for your health. So, besides monitoring your blood sugar levels regularly, what other strategies can you try to lower your blood sugar levels? Let's take a look at the best 5 things you can do for your blood glucose, starting with Number 5. Drink water. Our body is made of 70% of water. When your blood sugar levels are high, they become too concentrated in the blood. As a result, the body tries to get rid of this excess by flushing it through urine. Unfortunately, this process means that your body can become easily dehydrated. A simple solution to reverse dehydration and lower your blood glucose levels is to simply drink more water. Experts recommend for people with diabetes to drink between 9 to 12 glasses of water per day. This is equal to 3 liters of water. In a recent study, researchers observed 3,615 people with pre-diabetes who were given two different amounts of water per day. When the trial concluded, the results showed that those who drank more water daily had lower blood glucose levels. So, by drinking more water you can ensure the excess glucose is flushed out of your body and stay properly hydrated. Number 4. Eat fiber. As a diabetic, you've probably been told to add more fiber into your diet. Fiber is a form of starch that slows down the absorption of glucose in the bloodstream and helps the digestive system cleanse. Fiber comes in two forms. Insoluble fiber, which is found in legumes and vegetables, and soluble fiber, commonly present in whole grain foods like oat or lentils. Both are essential in your diet to help bring blood sugar down quickly. In addition, eating fiber also helps, reduces calorie intake, increases the feeling of fullness, slows down the absorption of nutrients, and as a result, reduces blood sugar spikes. So, if your glucose levels are high, try adding some extra fibers to your next meal. Number 3. Rest. When it comes to diabetes, sleeping can be tricky. High blood glucose can affect your sleep, but poor sleep can also impact your blood glucose to stay elevated throughout the day. So while you'll easily monitor your glucose levels throughout the day, it is important to monitor your sleep pattern as well. If you are experiencing hot flashes, restlessness, a constant need to urinate overnight, or light insomnia, it can prevent you from getting the rest your body needs. After analyzing over 700,000 adults found that sleeping less than 7 hours per night increases risks of hypoglycemia. Experts note that scheduling time for rest can help bring your blood glucose down. You can do that by turning off devices, meditating, allocating a set nap time, and maintaining a nighttime routine. Number 2. Adjust your portions. You probably experience a spike in blood glucose right after a meal, and while this is common, if levels remain high throughout the day, it may be a good idea to take a look at your eating habits. Experts note that when blood sugar stays high, it is often because diabetics snack throughout the day, eat rapidly without taking the time to chew. A 2013 study found that eating two large meals per day helped reduce blood glucose. They noted that this approach was more effective for diabetics than eating six small meals. However, consuming big portions of food might not work for everyone. So how can you adjust your meals and lower your blood sugar quickly? While it is best to speak with your doctor and dietitian to find out what your body needs, you can experiment by reducing snacking, adjusting your portion, and spacing out your meals. These steps will allow your digestive system to properly process the stored glucose and as a result give your blood glucose levels a chance to regulate and lower down on their own. Number 1. Exercise. You know it is vital to bring high blood glucose levels down quickly, and one of the best ways to do that is by exercising. When we exercise, our muscles contract and burn glucose for energy to keep up with our body's cardiovascular demand. As a result, this process lowers blood glucose levels. So, what type of exercise is the most effective on your blood sugar? Experts recommend doing 30 minutes of D-rate intensity exercise, also known as exercise snack. They note that light, Jogging, walking, dancing, or strength training are a great way to gradually increase your cardio and bring your blood glucose levels down. On the other hand, you may want to avoid high-intensity exercise 
as these types of activities can push your blood glucose to rapidly crash and cause hypoglycemia. Overall, bringing your blood sugar down quickly comes down to adjusting your daily habits. So make sure to be more mindful of them to keep your diabetes in check. Do you do other things that are efficient at bringing your blood sugar down quickly? Share your best tip with a fellow diabetics in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please take one second to like and subscribe to the channel to help more people have better health. Wishing you good health, happiness and success.